So guys, on the last episode, I finally finished the 92 crafting goal, which of course allowed me to make the Emblem Torture, so I have that done now. And of course, with the crafting done, that means I can spend more time going back to uh, Hunter, so I can catch the chins for my Armadale grind to complete the uh, God War set. So I just need the helmet and the hilt. But anyways, this is... The uh, rate that I'm getting the chance right now, over 100k an hour, like 140k an hour. I've been doing this for, you know, over an hour now, so this is a super reliable uh, rate. So yeah, in two and a half hours, I would get 1,000 chins easily. Dang, my recorder uh, got glitched or something, so yeah, there goes my 97 cooking clip. I want to just get 99 cooking, because uh, why not? I need to get the food anyways prepped for uh, eventual Corporal Beast and stuff, so... I'm working on that. Now let me show you the supplies, 7,000 raw sharks, 12,000 raw monkfish, 5,000 raw anglerfish. And I only need about uh, 2 point, like give or take, 4 mil. So I have more than enough raw fish to get 99, so yeah. Might as well just bang that out, right? So I'll see you with 99 cooking soon. Another thing I need to do in order to prepare and do Corporal Beast is to make a lot of cannonballs. So the cannonballs just help speed up the kills and also helps me deal with the core. And uh, basically if you plan on doing Corporal Beast for a long time as an Iron Man, you definitely want to invest in getting the cannonballs. It's a necessity. So currently I'm just making the steel bars so that you know I can uh, stock up on some cannonballs. And as you can see my supplies, I have 35,000 iron ore and 60 4,000 uh, coal, which is basically about 30,000 steel bars, which can be converted to 150,000 cannonballs. So I got a lot. I just need to find the time to convert all of them at some point. I'm actually getting like 60k smithing experience an hour, which is really good to be honest. And I was planning on getting 89 smithing eventually anyway, so that I can make rune darts for stuff like uh, raids, because you know, rune darts would be a nice uh, power increase over like Addy Dart, so I'm kind of killing two birds with one stone doing it this way. So I have a lot of smithing to do as well. So a bunch of raids update came out today and uh, basically it's kind of a, a rebalance sorts uh, to some rooms. Like some rooms, like the Thieving Room Man, it does not give that many points. So uh, they changed that up a bit, you're able to get more points from doing this room now and it's quicker. And some bosses like Tacton, uh, Fespula, they now give more points. I don't know how much more points, but it's just like, you know, to make up for the people scouting and avoiding those bosses, like give you incentive to uh, do those rooms. So now they added another whole new rotation. Uh, you should probably see the picture on the screen. So like, yeah, there's two additional rotations now for bosses. So it's going to be like a little bit harder to scout effectively. Oh my god, a late clue scroll. <laughs> Wow, dude, two elite clue scrolls so far from raids. So this is master clue number 22. Oh, okay. This was probably one of the, the lowest uh, lowest expectation of a master clue reward right here. First time I went for five ecumenical keys in one trip. But it's better in the long run just to, you know, get them all at once. So then I don't have to, uh, yeah, re-trip as much. So in preparation for this Corporal Beast grind, I mentioned a bit about the Tyrannical Ring. So the Tyrannical Ring is going to be a really important weapon because it gives the plus A crush uh, bonus. Which means uh, when it comes to doing solo Corporal Beast, it will help a lot because I will be able to land Dragon Warhammer specs uh, much more often. So this is how I uh, lower Callisto. Basically I hide behind this uh, farthest tree and then once that happens, I move all the way north right so all I gotta do is keep going north and I need a step right here so this little uh, plus mark or X mark you can see just gotta stand right here and uh, eventually Callisto will spawn here and you're probably gonna get hit one time or not at all and then you just stand on the side and then you're good to go there we go my first real kill the second kill didn't count because somebody uh, attacked it so yeah it didn't get that. The purpose of that was to lure it to a point where it basically wouldn't detect you at all. So I finally found a use for the magic combo and it is uh, pretty useful because not only can you use it to lower Callisto, uh, the special attack actually always hits so you'll always uh, land a damage. 
And that's really nice because Callisto, like, you know, just has an immense uh, defense. So it's just nice extra damage you can do while you lure the boss. So there we go. So as you can see, I uh, brought Venges and the Venge is super, super useful for Callisto. So during the whole luring process, he ends up usually giving you uh, one or two attacks and they pretty much always hit. Usually hits like 50s and 60s. And yeah, it just helps speeds up the kills per hour. Alright, here's another kill. Crush net 75. Oh my god. Okay, with a drop that good, I am definitely uh, banking. Uh, this is great. Obviously, I'm doing this late night. Seeing as how I don't have to retrip that much. Really, only time is either I run out of like sharks or I get a big drop like this. And then, yeah, this is a uh, pretty damn good. So hopefully we'll get this tyrannical soon. Oh my god. Seriously. I got another elite clue scroll. Wow. I got one elite clue scroll from it yesterday. And now I got another elite clue scroll. Oh yes. Now that's what I'm talking about. See. I was smart. I put in the elite clue scroll as soon as I got it at Watson. Because I knew that I would have a chance of getting another one. Alright, there we go. Thanks for the first master clue. And uh, let's cash in this other elite clue though. Okay, this is uh, number 23, right? Oh man, dude. This is uh, also a back-to-back -back, uh, disappointing master clue. I just got an elite clue scroll. First kill. Oh my days. Oh my god, no. Why did I have to die? Alright guys, so I recently just uh, hit over 50 KC uh, within these two days and honestly I am <laughs> you know quite nervous at the wilderness doing this for such a long time I already encountered uh, PK or two but so far no incidents but yeah just cannot get rid of that paranoia though Oh shit! Second bird nest drop What up? Oh my god! Oh my god! I got it! Marcos! I got the ring! Oh my oh, god. The tyrannical ring, bro. Damn. I was about to finish too. Remember? I was like, yo, Marcos, man. Yeah. 60, 60 KC? I'm leaving. Today. And, and I got one more. Oh my god. That's so sick, dude. Woo! Wow. <laughs> yo, you know what I need this ring for? What's the ring do? Um, it gives plus a crush bonus. So it's it's for this boss, you know, uh, Corporal Beast. So I am gonna go uh, AFK Nightmare Zone for a bit so I can get the points, obviously, to imbue this bad boy. And I guess I, I will work on uh, editing this video too. Oh, boys, we got the Power Surge just now. So it is uh, time to go on a crazy Dragon Claw specking spree, basically. Yeah, dude, an upgrade from the G Mall. I don't know. Maybe the G Mall, uh, maybe a little bit better. But oh yeah, this is amazing, fun as hell. I'm just destroying the crap out of everything. So I just finished AFK Nightmare Zone, and yes, I got enough points now. So I ended up imbuing the Tyrannical Ring. So I pretty much have everything I need to start doing Purple Beast. I got my ring for my Dragon Warhammer specs so I can land the special attack a lot more often saving me a lot of time because I'm gonna have to uh, lower the Corporal Beast's defense a shit ton of times each kill and of course I already have some cannonballs prepped and as for this food section I am really really stocked up on the food as well so beginning next week the hunt for some sigils will begin and also I have my concurrent goals that I've been you know working on for a bit now such as completing the God Wars grind and also trying to get you know more items at raids so on top of the corpse stuff yes we'll still be uh, doing all the uh, current goal stuff that I've been working on so content I guess just got expanded a bit more with corpse so I'm pretty damn excited for the final few grinds on this account I will be wrapping up the video here guys, thank you guys so much for watching as usual and I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you are new to the series and you would like to stay up to date with the future progress for this character, feel free to subscribe to the channel, otherwise 
I will see you guys later with another video in a few days, hopefully. Take care and bye-bye.